As you know, my name is Kainton, the Tech Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you about RabbitMQ. RabbitMQ is a middleware, a, a software application that sits between two services. So if service one or microservice one wants to send a message to microservice two, microservice two is down or is busy, uh, RabbitMQ, this middleware, is going to hold this message temporarily, and when service two is back up, is going to retrieve this message and send it to service two. So a middleware helps you to create an application that is robust, resilient, and is always up and is not prone to failure. So it's something all software engineers or programmers should learn about. I'm going to show you a demo. I'm going to be showing you a demo uh, on how RabbitMQ works. And I'm going to take you through step-by-step -step on how to install, Rabbit, install RabbitMQ, integrate it into Spring Boot, and then I'll be able to send messages and also retrieve messages. So for now, I'll take a look at the architecture. So this is the architecture of uh, RabbitMQ. Again, if you are joining me for the first time, hit on the subscribe button below, because if you subscribe, you kind of help me, motivate me to keep making this license for you. And in that case, uh, if you have any challenges, do let me know by leaving a comment in the comment box below this video right now. And we can do this together. And if this has been informative for you, please like it and also share it around with your friends. It could help someone. So this is a simple architecture of the RabbitMQ. We have MS1, Microservice 1, and MS2, Microservice 2. In between, we have this MOM. MOM means Message Oriented Middleware. So when MS1 is trying to send a message to MS2, it has to, it have to pass through this middleware. Actually, there are different ways to implement a middleware. For instance, we can use MSMQ uh, or MSMQ, Microsoft Message Queue. Or we can also use AMQP, Advanced Message Queuing, Queuing Protocol, and there are other ones, MQTT and so on. But today I'm going to show you the easy one, uh, RabbitMQ, and also seems to be the best. So we have this message broker right here in between, and also we have a message queue, and we have a message store, a persistent store, and we also have a console. A console is in this way we can see what is happening, uh, like I showed you. Uh, like in a browser, you can see what is actually happening in your queue. Or the messages there, the messages that are pending, how many queues are there, the exchanges, and so on. So let's log in and let me demonstrate this. And then after then, we now dive right in to build the uh, a simple application uh, using RabbitMQ. Send a message to from Spring application to RabbitMQ. Open RabbitMQ console, the dashboard. View the, the queue to see that the message is there. And then we're also going to run the second part of the application received that, actually going, that is actually going to pull the message out from the queue. And when the message is pulled out of the queue, it's actually uh, removed from the queue. So this is a step-by-step -step I've made, uh, seven steps we are going to follow. For now, what is RabbitMQ? You already know, I already explained it. It's a piece of software that, that sits between two services or two applications, and it handles uh, message, message broke, broke. It's, it's like a message broker that helps uh, keep the uh, message uh, before it is sent uh, to the second application. So let me just log in. Let me just show you that it's really something you need to learn. So I'm going to use guest. And I'm going to use guest again. I'm going to show you how to set up this user. So now we are already in. So if I'll uh, take a look at the queues. For now, there is no queue, as you can see uh, right here. Um, admin, there is no queue. Okay, that's fine. So we are in the queue, uh, uh, in the queue section or uh, the queue tab. So now you can see that in the Spring application we have queue name is another queue. So that's the name of the queue, just another queue. You can give it any name. We are going to go through this code after now. So I'm going to, and you can see that I'm having two profiles, send and receive. I'm going to explain briefly about profiles. So let me use the send. And I'm going to run this application. Take a look at the queue and see actually what happens uh, at this point. So the queue is going to come. Uh, the message is going to come to this queue. And you can see it. So you can see now. You can see another queue was created immediately. Uh, just to show that this is not magic, I'm going to change this name to subscribe now. Now, that's the name of the queue, subscribe now. So I'm reminding you to subscribe if you've not subscribed to my channel. So I'm going to run it again, uh, run it again, and let's see if it creates this new queue. And we're also going to now look into this queue to see that there's a message that says, welcome to RabbitMQ. Good. So you can see it comes right there. So you can see another queue. We have subscribed now. So you have a message, string message, welcome to RabbitMQ. That's a message. 
Now, if I open this queue and go down, you can see that we have get messages. We have get messages. I'm going to click on it. If you go down, you can see the payload is, is called this uh, welcome to RabbitMQ, as you can see as the payload of, of the message right here. So this is how it works. And let's now follow the tutorial. I've made a step-by-step -step tutorial on my website. So feel free to visit. This step-by-step -step tutorial is what I'm going to follow throughout this tutorial. I'm not going to skip any step. And you have it for yourself. If you miss out anything, please check. And all the pieces of code used in this tutorial, you find it. Give me a second. All the pieces of code you need for this tutorial is also found on my website. I'm going to go through them right now. Let's go and do it. The first thing we are going to do, uh, let's go. Uh, install RabbitMQ and then configure it and then write the build of the Spring Boot application and then be able to send and receive messages uh, to and from MessageMQ uh, from RabbitMQ. So let's go ahead to get started right now. 